it's a nasty day out today let me tell you a couple days ago it was 70 um in the last 24 hours we've had rain hail sleet i think some snow now it's raining again so i borrowed this uh this mower from work to go out and do a, a mow test with this is the bad boy elite and uh unfortunately it's a uh really nasty day and you know you know mow in the rain right but we're gonna mow in the rain so uh yeah we'll do a quick uh hands-on with it show you the stuff then we're gonna go out there and do some uh rainy day mowing see how far we can get before we sink into the mud yeah it, it's ugly out here ugly enough that i'm wearing my rain jacket oh gross so here it is the bad boy elite hidden deep in the depths of our barn here it's a great little mower Let's just show you some stuff from the front. Huge big old tire here. Look at these guys. I love this. There's a big rubber pad. This kind of soaks up the, the bumps and bruises from when you're going through the lawn. And unlike a spring that'll compress and then snap up on you and make you more bumpy, this one can just compress and it doesn't need to explode. That's pretty neat. One, two, three, four anti-scalping wheels. That's sweet. This guy's a 54-inch deck. Pretty big. And it is thick let's get our hands under there it's like that thick real thick big connecting rods here holding on to the deck this one's greasable so you don't get a bunch of ugly sounds and stuff binding up when you're raising and lowering the deck lots of heavy metal here open up the deck right here or the uh the foot pad right here and you can get down into these guys to replace belts and spindles and that's where you tension your, uh, your spindle that puts your belt tension on. So that's pretty neat. Um, these are not greasable, but we'll get over it. What else do we have on this thing? Fuel tank, level indicator. That's nice. I like that that's not digital. There's your choke. Now, of course, you got to choke your tractor to start it or your mower to start it. This is your e-brake. So if you have your e-brake turned off, the mower is not supposed to start. There's the safety switch. So it kind of reminds you, turn on the e-brake, then you can choke it to start it. There's your fuel tank. All your hoses are really easy to get to. This one's running a Kohler 7000 series. It's kind of dark in here, but I'm sure you can see that. I think the 7000 series is a great engine. People will disagree, but they're wrong. Uh, real easy to get to your oil dipstick, your oil filter, your fuel filter. Pop the seat up. Super easy to get to your battery. Look at all this. This is very easy to maintain. Uh, a lot of flat spaces. So you can get in here and blow the grass out. You don't want grass building up. Yeah, you can even get to the, uh, looks like the cap on your hydros. You can even get to those. That's wonderful. And these are running uh, hydro gear. I don't know what models these are. I think these are in the 2000 series. But good little hydros. And then... Starter switch here, you do have an hour meter. There's your throttle, there's your PTO switch. And uh, this is for your height adjust. We'll show you how to do that. Let's put this seat down. So how are you guys doing? You having a good day? Oh man, I tell you what, I'm trying to get stuff done around here. And we're just having biblical weather events, it seems like. Okay, so we're sitting on the seat, right? So you push this foot pedal. That raises the deck, and then you can click this to the level you want to mow at, so then the deck goes down. So push the foot pedal, deck up, adjust, let go, deck goes down to that level. All right, do you want to see what we're going to be mowing? Oh, well, we'll show you. Oh, so we've been fixing up this property for the last couple of years, and boy, it's just a... Uh, it's looking pretty wrecked right now, but hey, we'll get there. So the first thing we're gonna try to get up is the, uh, we're gonna call this the muddy hill of death. Uh, you can't see it, but it's angled about like that. So we've got to drive up this hill. Oh boy, I don't even know if I can walk up the hill. Challenge number two, we're gonna mow some sticks. There's a lot of sticks. Challenge number three, we're going to drive through some muddy ruts. 
challenge number four. I'm gonna try to mow and mulch down some wood chips. And then the last challenge while we're mowing, hold on, we gotta get over here. We're gonna mow a hillside in the rain, which uh, is really difficult to do with a zero turn mower. And we've got obstacles to drive around like piles of sticks and stuff. And this hillside again, it's got a slant to it, about like that. And then last but not least, we're gonna come back around and uh, try to return to the barn by driving through a little mud pit I created by uh, driving the tractor through it too much while it was wet. So that's where we go here. We're gonna come around and we're gonna go through. I don't think we're gonna make it through here. Mr. Rooster doesn't either. Look at all this. We're gonna try to get enough speed and momentum to drive through that mud and get back home. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's start this bad boy up, so to speak. <laughs> smokes here's what we're gonna do we're gonna go back down the hill I'm gonna go halfway up stop and then try to start in the middle of it Okay, we figured out how to make her fail on a on the mud hill, but to be really honest, it's an unfair test. I mean, we got ruts in here. As soon as you stop in mud, try to go, you're toast. Oh my goodness! And yeah, that left tire just couldn't go anywhere. Okay, next test. So we did really good in deep ruts here. Some over here. Yeah, some of these mowers have a lot of stuff hanging down that gets hung up. This guy doesn't. I've got the deck all the way up, but those anti-scalping wheels still got some impact with these ruts. They just helped me push over the big front wheels, big rear tires. Those really help too. So let's uh let's mow some sticks here, see how that goes. mowed those sticks up like nobody's business i did not expect that i mean part of it's the blades you got on there part of it's having the engine power but i put the deck all the way on the ground and most of that pile is gone holy smokes the stuff i couldn't get was already pushed into the ground see that 
Okay, well, now it's really wet out here. I'm gonna see if this guy will pick up and mulch these wood chips that we have on the ground. So that'll be what we do next. Here we go. That's shocking to me. This pile was about two or three inches tall. It has eviscerated these wood chips. It didn't just spread them, it chopped them up smaller. It got them off the ground and chopped them up smaller. With that deck on the ground, I was surprised it has that much lift. That's a really well-made deck, I think. I haven't tried this with something else, but I've got a feeling that's a big thing. Uh, last thing I'm gonna do, and it is oh, crazy wet out. I'm gonna go and try to mow this hillside. Um, I'm gonna just put the mower deck on, on its lowest setting and see if we can keep any kind of control while we're mowing this hillside. So we'll see. mowed the hillside it wasn't pretty but boy hillsides are tough to mow you know anytime you stopped your momentum and tried to restart it would just spin because those tires are turf tires you know they're not they're not meant for for mudding around but did a pretty good job really um i could get it out of control if i wanted to but if i kept my head on my shoulders it did pretty good um i'm gonna keep mowing and uh we'll keep mowing and uh i'll give you some uh some highlights in a minute here Okay, before we put her in the barn, one last test. We've got to make it through this area. This doesn't look like much, but I've got standing water. I've got mud. I've got sticks. I've got bricks. I've got stones. I don't think it's going to make it. <laughs> but we'll find out. Here we go. <laughs> Every other mower I've ever given to you got stuck. These ruts are like three, four inches deep. All right, well, good job, bad boy. All right, we're done mowing for the for the day. This this whole place is underwater. Come here, look at this. Look at this. We got we got a little pond out here. There was ducks in there earlier. There's not usually a pond there. This is just all clay out here and water just sits on top of it so i couldn't mow most of this place but i had the high spot that was the high spot that was still underwater anyway so uh did some good mowing with this thing um just a, a little housekeeping note um i had this deflector up while i was mowing that was for show it looks cool you know when stuff's spraying everywhere into the camera i want to get likes on youtubes you know feel free to push push like you know but when you're mowing put it down I mowed off camera and had that thing down. It's it's not put it down. It's safe. 
you know, neither bad boy nor I, nor any dealer or the dealer I work for even, would tell you to mow with that thing up. They would tell you, put it down. That's safety first. You don't want to murder somebody. This thing absolutely flings material, you know, so put that, put that guy down. Okay, uh, other little safety item I did notice. Um, on these decks, you've got a belt guard. Boy, there's some exposed belt here and stuff. Um, I had a little untied shoe. I didn't have an incident with that, but man, keep that in mind. So that's something to think about. Okay, what do I like? Uh, so these anti-vibe pucks, man, I actually feel like it made a difference. You know, you get a lot of this kind of motion when you're mowing, and I feel like it really ate up a lot of that. I don't feel like it got beat up. Um, something I did on this is when these mowers come in, these bars are actually flipped they unscrewed the, we unscrewed these and flipped them the other direction because when i pull these back they stick into my gut this is an adjustable seat on the elite there's an adjuster right here somewhere that's really hard to get to you pull that and move the seat forward and aft forward and aft i think that's right but uh i flip the bars so i'm not hitting myself when i suck them in um because i got a big gut but I also like to adjust my mower so when I'm mowing, my arms are at rest at the top speed or the normal speed I mow at. So I'm not constantly modulating my speed, but I'm also not constantly fighting it from going too fast and bumping me all over. It's a, it's a great thing to do with the zero turn if you can. Dial it in so your arms are just kind of at rest at the speed you mow at. You'll, you'll feel a lot better when you get done mowing for the day if you're mowing a few acres. So that's something we noticed. Um, seat was pretty comfortable. It's got armrests. I never use them. I don't know why they have them. Um, something else that's kind of interesting on this, watch this. So we're gonna, we're mowing. We push these bars forward and they kind of stay there. If you're using that, uh, that little cup holder, maybe to have a little sippy sip, you can let go and the whole machine doesn't just, you know, doesn't have those, those lap bars return and spin you around. So I think that's kind of cool. You can actually tune these bars from what I understand. There's, you can kind of see there's access to springs and stuff. I think you can tune those a little bit, but I like it, man. You can push both these bars out and the machine just kind of keeps going forward. So if you've got to blow your nose or something because you're allergic to, to grass, which some of us are, um, you can do that. And man, actually th this whole lap bar system, I really like the, the, the grease zerks there. That's really important. You can grease this machine. That's amazing. Um, yeah, it did very admirably. Um, I mowed at the lowest setting, which I never do. I had a ton of trouble clogging this thing up. I finally got into some patches of grass like, like we have here, which is just ugly swamp grass, but it was real thick and like eight, eight inches long. And I had to slow down because I was bogging it down. But that chute opening so big, it does a really good job of clearing. Now, if you want to mulch, they make a true mulch kit that plugs the deck, lets you keep the grass inside the deck and mulch it down. We can't do that out here. It'll it'll plug up, leave clumps, just be ugly. Um, they do also have a power bagger. Jury's out on those. We've used the power baggers out here before. If it's kind of wet like this, they plug up. Um, but you can also get a bagger made by Accelerator here in Washington State. That's a big aluminum basket that goes off the side. Those things do great. They don't clog. They collect the grass. Something worth looking at. Um, any other thoughts on this guy? Not really. A little powerhouse. Mulched up sticks. Cut up grass. Mulched up mulch. Um, did fine on the hill. You know, zero turn mowers just have troubles on hills. The reason is your rear tires are pushing you. And then one stops and the other one's trying to still push you while redirecting your momentum. It's very difficult. So you saw that, you might have seen this thing slipping and sliding on the hill test. It's not exciting video, but it's kind of cool. And what I was impressed with though, was coming through this, uh, this muddy area. But look at this mud. Coming through that area was effortless. I've, I've gotten multiple uh, mowers stuck in there. And I don't know what it is about that area, but just, one of the wheels will start spinning in your toast. And this guy just kept on trucking. Um, so yeah, bad boy, ZT Elite. I salute you. Nice motor. Have a great day, everyone.